Hi there, I am Nabil Murad. This short tutorial is simply to welcome a giant function introduced today just few hours ago, the 28th of August 2019, named the XLOOKUP function. It replaces the most popular function in Excel, the VLOOKUP function. The VLOOKUP function is still available, but it has some limitations. Number one, by default it returns an approximate match. Number two, it can extract only from the right side of a lookup column. It cannot extract from the left side. Number three, it has an argument, the column index number, which is problematic when copying our formula across. We had to combine it with either a match or a columns function in order to extract an entire record. Let's have a look at the xlookup function, which has lots of advantages. The xlookup function has five arguments, while the vlookup function had four arguments. The xlookup function by default returns an exact match. It can extract from the right side or the left side. It doesn't have a column index number. Instead, it has a return array. And if you insert columns in the table array, well, the result is not affected, like in the case of the vlookup function. Let's see an example. In my list, I have a first name, a last name, and then I have a student code, reading, writing, and math score. I would like to extract first from the right side. I'll be using the student code as a lookup value, and I'll be typing equal x lookup. And because I'm using Office 365 with Office Insider, then the x lookup function is available to me. The first argument is the lookup value, and the lookup value is the student code. I lock it by hitting F4 because I'm copying to the right. And then it asks me for a lookup array. The lookup array will be the entire column of student codes. I select the first code, shift, control, down, arrow, F4 to lock it and jump back. And then I hit comma. And finally, it asks me about the return array, which used to be the column index number in the VLOOKUP function. Because I'm extracting the reading, I'll be selecting the first value under reading, shift, control, down, arrow, and then I hit F4 twice because I'm copying to the right, so I just want to lock the row number. And then when I close the bracket and then I hit enter, I was able to extract the reading score. I can hover over the lower right corner and copy to the right. If I was using a VLOOKUP function, and then I insert a column in the original table array or the source list, I'm going to hit Control plus to insert. My xlookup function is not affected. I hit Control minus to delete, and the xlookup function is not affected. Another advantage of the xlookup function is that it can extract from the left side of the lookup column. So I'm going to extract the first and last name. I'll be typing equal xlookup, and then I hit Tab. My lookup value will be the student code. I hit F4 to lock it, and then I hit comma. My lookup array will be the entire column for student code, shift, control, down, arrow, F4 to lock it. And then I hit comma. My return array will be the first name. I select the entire column of first name. I hit F4 twice to lock the row, but not the column. And then I close the bracket. And when I hit Enter, I was able to extract from the left side of the lookup column. I can also copy it, and it's working just fine. If I insert a column between first and last name, control plus, nothing happens, and my xlookup function doesn't fail, control minus to delete the inserted column. In my next tutorial, I'll be talking in a lot more detail about this function with a lot more examples, and I'll be talking about the fourth and fifth argument, match mode and search mode. And if you enjoyed this training video, give it a thumbs up. And consider subscribing to my channel to be notified when new tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thank you for watching and see you next time.